may be recorded for security reasons. All of our operators are currently busy. There's a Please fucking hold, surprise. and your call will be answered as soon as possible. Fucking beautiful music, isn't it? Please continue to hold. Your call will be answered as soon as possible. I fucking hope so. Good afternoon, Credit Security. Can I take your account number, please? Yeah. Hi. That's fine. How today? Um, well, we received a letter through from yourselves, um, reference BPO Collections Limited, um, and it said, as field agents for the above client, we've been instructed to collect the outstanding debt. Yeah, that's for the 3753. Uh-huh. That's for 3753. Yes. Yeah, are you in a position to settle the balance? Um, I'm certainly in a position to do it. I've no intention of doing it at the moment. Um, the... the the problem we have with this one is that Virgin don't wish to send me a detailed account of what it relates to. Now, I know it relates to a mobile telephone, however, it doesn't. the, the amount that they're talking about does not reflect the monthly bill. Um, th there's no dispute that there could be, and I, and now I do emphasise could be, some money owing to them, but I would like at very least to know what it's about. Um, and I don't think that I'm asking very much in respect of that. Um, BPO Collections did ask on my behalf. Virgin said, not nothing to do with BPO, tell them to contact us. Sorry, that's not the way it works. If they want to tell me that I'm due them money, all they have to do is prove that I am due them money and the burden's upon them to do so. Now that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for anything else. Not being awkward, not being difficult. It's not up to me to contact them. If they want to tell me that I owe them money, they have to justify that. Yeah, so on this one here, you would need to contact them. No, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. If they, if they want me to pay them money, they have to contact me. There, there, there's, and as far as it goes, in a court of law, I, I do record all these telephone calls in order that I keep myself right. I'm, you know, I, I make you guys aware of that. I'm not trying to be difficult in any way. However, I'm more than prepared to go to court and I'll take these calls as evidence that I'm not in any way being awkward, difficult or otherwise. I just want them to tell me what the amount's about. It's not up to me to go through a third party. I, t I mean, I take it you are a third party. You haven't bought the debt. No, we don't purchase the balances, no. No, no, that's fine. Wait, that's why you'd need to contact Virgin Mobile because we don't hold a breakdown of your balance. You'd need to request it directly through them because they're the original creditor. Yeah, yeah, but you, you guys are acting on their behalf. Therefore, if you're going to send me correspondence then I have to contact yourselves. I mean, that's what the letter says after all. Therefore, I'm contacting you and I'm telling you that there's no way I'll be paying this amount until such time as they justify what it is. If they come back to me and say, yeah, it's 37 quid for X, Y and Z, um, then, yeah, fine, not a problem. There, there, there is no issue with that. Um, however, as, as far as it goes, until they do so, I won't be paying it. And it's as straightforward as that. Now, that being the case, and the fact that you guys are a third party to this and have absolutely no title to this debt, then I, I would consider any further correspondence to be harassment because I've made my position perfectly clear. Um, and, and we both know how the law sits on on being pestered for something when I've made a perfectly reasonable and val valid objection to the debt, or, or alleged debt as it is. Um, now also from that point of view, I do note that you, you say something about a doorstep collector. Letter. Yes, yes. Um, that being the case, I, and bearing in mind that this call is recorded, um, I, w I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I do withdraw any implied right of access to my property whatsoever. I would like that to be noted on my account because that's very important. Um, and again, this is recorded. Oh, they're not, they're not a bailiff. They wouldn't into your property. Oh, I'm, no, I'm aware of that. Bailiffs don't have any jurisdiction in Scotland. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I know the law, trust me. So... But the, the fact that they entered the grounds of my property is my concern. They have no right at all, and I'm withdrawing any implied access to enter even the cartilage of my property. And by that, I mean enter through either gate and approach the property itself. They have no, they have no right of access as far as I'm concerned to do that, and I've withdrawn any entitlement to do that. Uh, if they do, then they'll be breaching this. 
this, this withdrawal of, my, of their implied right to access and I will forcibly, if required, move them from my property. Okay, so I'm just making that very clear um, so that we both know where we stand. Okay. What I've done for you, obviously I've noted the account on here, obviously I've advised you what you would need to do to get a breakdown of the balance, uh -huh. which is what you're requesting. Yep. So I can note it for you and obviously report it through as a dispute and it's likely the account will go back to them. So yeah, you'd need to contact them directly to get a breakdown of the balance. All they have to do is contact me and provide it. I'm not being difficult. So I mean, if you, if you hand it back to them, all you've got to do is tell them that um, however, like I say, any further calls, letters, etc. from CSL or BPO, because I've advised them exactly the same, will result in me taking this matter with uh, with the relevant authorities. Um, any attendance at my property um, in contradiction of me withdrawing my implied right of access will meet with whatever consequences it meets with. Um, I can't be any more clear on the matter. Um, you know, like I say, I'm not being difficult in any way. If they provide me with a breakdown of the 37 quid, I'm happy with what they're saying. You know, we have no issue here. Yeah, so as I said, I've noted it for you. Obviously, we've noted it to say you're refusing to contact them directly to request the information. I'm not refusing. I'm asking them to do their job and contact me. It's not me that's telling... I'm, I'm not saying that you. I'm due them money. What I'm saying is I would like them to justify it. And as... The, the debtor, allegedly, it's their prerogative to to provide me with the information. Let's face it, if it goes to court, they'll have to provide that information. Yeah, so we, we can't request that information. That's something that you would need to do. Right, that's okay. why we can't send it, because we can't request it. No, no, that's absolutely fine. In that case, yeah. then, I, I think so, that any, any further dealings between myself and yourselves are now dead in the water, so I wouldn't expect any further correspondence. Yeah, but as I've advised, you'd, you'd need to contact them directly to request request the information. Yeah, yeah, I'm, all I'm saying is I don't expect any more correspondence with your company in the circumstances because that would then amount to, to harassment because we're both, we're both very clear on where we stand with this. Yeah, I mean, I've noted it for you. Perfect. The dispute is likely that it will go back to them, but okay. it's not my position. I can't guarantee that. No, that, that's absolutely fine, um, but I do have a record of this call, so if there, if I need to provide that as evidence some point down the line, then I can do so. Yeah, that's fine, and it, obviously it will say in there as well that I've advised you, you need to contact Virgin to request the proof. Yeah, and it will also say here that I've rejected that because, <laughs> let's face it, it's not me that's saying that Virgin are due me money, so I don't have to contact them. You know, BPO have already done so, Virgin can't be bothered. Um, you know, pulling these figures out their asses and telling me what it refers to, that's their problem, not mine. Like I say, I'm in a position to pay the, to settle the, the account if there is outstanding money on the account, but I would like to know what it's for. And that's all I'm asking, so yeah, it's up to Virgin, okay? We can't, can't request or provide you, so yeah. That's, well, that, that being the case, you can't yeah. continue to send me letters to, to continue to, to contact us via phone, text message or otherwise, and you certainly can't send somebody to my house if you can't do anything else on this account, so... I think we both know where we stand now. Yep, I've advised all I can advise you. Likewise, thank you. You're welcome. Cheers.